Hey guys, Shadow Slayer coming back at you. And today we are going to be doing the AGS video where uh, I got back my submission. I had my daughter come up here and she she likes to arrange them. So she did them by the, I believe the serial numbers are all in order. Or they go, you know, from reverse back. But anyways, so she laid these up here for me. And uh, we're going to see what we got here. I know, uh, so the cards I submitted were, I submitted a Leafeon VMAX Altart, Sylveon VMAX Altart, Rainbow Chunky Chew, I submitted both of my Ghost Rares that I pulled, the Red Dragon Archfiend and the uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon. So, alright, we're gonna go, obviously the AGS gives a little bit of a hint of what you're getting, but we'll try to cover that as much as we can. So it looks like the Pikachu, obviously with the gold on AGS's, uh, you know, stickers that they got on the top there. Uh, they, it's a probably a uh, nine five or above. So uh, let's check it out. Nice nine five. Yeah, I was uh, I was concerned about this Chunky Chew. She was a little, uh, she's a little top heavy, but not too bad. Okay, let's see what else we got here. So the next one we're going to have... Okay, so there's the leafy on. And maybe we'll, uh, we'll hold it up just a little bit like that. Got that nice sparkle on it. Very nice. Now, so for this guy, I think I predicted like a 9.5. Possibly the 10 because she's like really, really nicely centered. Had no flaws that I could see on it. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful card. Not a single thing, so I'm going to guess probably a 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Gem Mint 10, very nice. Low pop, too, on these. Very low pop. Okay, again, another gold one. I think this whole submission is probably gold, which is crazy because I thought the for sure the Yu-Gi-Oh cards were not going to be. Um, at least for this, what I can see from here. Looks like they're all gold. Okay. So, again, looks very clean. Um, looks like I got Yu-Gi-Oh! next, so this must be the Sylveon. And we saw it. The Gem Mint 10. Very nice card. Very nice card. Like I said, another one that had no flaws. The centering. Perfect. Perfect centering. There wasn't a single flaw on this card. Honestly, this could... This one could hit the black label. So like I said, not a single flaw on this. But, you know. You know me, I like to just have them in my collection. And, uh, yeah. Ah, the red eyes. Very nice. Very nice ghost rare. My first ghost rare I ever pulled. Now, I can't tell if that's on the card or what that is. I don't think that's on the card. That might be... Well, I hope it's not in the slab. But I don't think it's on the card, no. No, it's not on the card. Must be in the slab somewhere. But anyways. Very nice card, very nice card. Again, this uh, the centering on this I think was a little off. But not bad. The 9.5. The 9.5. Yeah, probably one of the better Ghost Rares I saw. Obviously, it has the Ghost Rare scuffing. And I do have a video where I pulled this. So, very nice. And let's see what we got. <clears throat> Again, the gold on this, you know, it kind of gives it away. Not that I'm super excited. Not not super excited about this because for sure, for sure this is awesome. But a, a little bit on the gold kind of gives it, you know, that where you, you're knowing. You're kind of just knowing like, okay, so this is going to be a 9.5 or higher. Um, this is the Red Dragon Archfiend, and I'm going to say this is going to 9.5, because I think there's that one little corner up there, yeah, see that, it's like a little, it's a little scuffy, and that, you got that, you know, Ghost Rare scuff, ooh, very nice, the 9.5, now, I did think that there was a small, small 
in the hollow here. I don't know if I can see it anymore. I thought there was like a little dot in there. And I was for sure that was going to, you know, it was going to catch that. And then it's going to just drop that, drop that down a lot. But no, I guess it, uh, I don't know. That's weird. It was there. Huh. Well, anyways, so anyways, I'm happy with the 9.5. That's really cool. It goes uh, really good with my Chaos Emperor at a 9.5. Beautiful card. This one, this one I thought for sure was going to hit the 10 because of how nice it is. And also, I thought that would be the Charizard and those two. Uh, you, can't, you know, you can't get tens. You can't always get tens, but super happy about that. I got the two tens, three nine fives. Very, very nice submission. Um, and, you know, with AGS, you know, you know the grades are grades. Uh, one day, one day, I think that they are going to take over. And uh, I think they will be, they'll be the standard. So... Well, that'd be great if they are. You know, if not, you know, it is what it is. It's the way the world works sometimes. But I think uh, I have pretty good confidence in that. Now, the only thing this time that I wasn't super excited about was um, when I took them out of the packaging, uh, I noticed that they were not they were not in the, like, the little box I have here, which I really liked that little box. Maybe because I had a few more cards submitted this time, so they didn't have, you know, you can't put that many in the box. Um, I'm going to test out that theory, though. Actually, you know what? We should test that out right now. Got my zoom roll in here. I bought, um, I think I bought this one on eBay. From CGC. Oh, jeez. Of course, it doesn't want to come out now. That's really going to be stuck in there, isn't it? Alright, well. Well, there's my zoom roll. Just an eight zoom roll. I thought it was pretty cool because it was Delta Species. Um, but yeah, you've probably seen that card in my older videos where it was just chill in the back. But now i got to figure out how to get it out of this uh, this thing. I thought it would be fitting really well in the box. But uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm going to go test that theory. And then next video uh, that I record, I'll let you know. I'll probably whip it out and uh, I'll show you if it can fit that many. But all right, guys. Well, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.